Okay, so to add a new item, put the key into the SP position, sign on with the manager code and program functions, and then one, two, two to go into PLU programming. And then we're looking for a PLU number. Now, the easiest thing to do is to type in a PLU number or look up a PLU that's on the list. Let's pick a kids menu. We'll pick fish fingers there. Now we can see there that that's PLU 516. What I normally would do is go 517, pick the next free number and enter. There's already one in there for 517, so I'll just press the page down button until I find it's not a great example of this because there's a lot of PLUs all with the same sorts of codes. There we go. You can see there we've gone from 594 to 609, so we know that 595 is free. So we simply type 595 and enter. And that's now created a whole blank PLU for us. So we can press enter there and enter the name called new product. We then need to give it a group. Now the groups are all set somewhere else, I'll come back to that shortly. We'll put in group 1 for the time being. And then we need to give it a price of, let's give it £5.25 on level 1 and £4 on level 2. Then scroll down to where it says KP, send that to Kitchen Printer 1, and that product's now created. We can then clear from twice from there and go into the lookup programming, and we can pick our lookup that we're that we want the product to go on to, want it on the a la carte menu. I'm going to add it there, and that's 595. So now we've got new product added into the TDH menu, I think it was. Oh, the a la carte menu. So if I clear from there, go into sales mode, into the restaurant, and a la carte, we've got our new product.